Before I go into the specifics of what is meant by circadian rhythm phase disorder, first, an overview of how the circadian rhythm influences the sleep-wake cycle. So starting with a definition of circadian rhythm, derived from the Latin around a day, refers to a biological process that regulates physiological and behavioral processes such as hunger, thirst, alertness, when we wake, when we sleep, over a 24-hour cycle. So the circadian rhythm basically represents our body clock, which is regulated by both internal and external mechanisms. So the major external mechanism or zeitgeber is exposure to daylight or darkness, which is detected by light sensitive neurons in the, in the retina. And these signals then go to the SCN, the suprachiasmatic nucleus, which will direct various glands to either increase or decrease their activity. So in the evening, the SCN will direct the pineal gland to secrete melatonin, which will induce sleepiness. So if our circadian rhythm is effectively functioning, we're going to have a match between our sleep-wake cycles and our desired sleep-wake patterns. So therefore, we're going to be alert. And then the SCN is going to direct the pineal gland in the evening to start secreting melatonin based on those dark signals on the back of the eye. That's going to make us feel sleepy. And therefore, we're going to maintain a good period of sleep during the night because humans are, have evolved to sleep at night time. And then in the morning, that'll all be reversed. Melatonin will be suppressed. We'll get some light signals on the back of the eye through daylight and we'll be roused from our sleep and we'll maintain a good level of alertness during the day. Circadian rhythm phase disorders can be defined as a group of sleep disorders that result in sleep disturbances as a result of a mismatch between a person's sleep-wake behaviour and their desired sleep-wake cycles. And that's because their internal body clock is out of sync with the external daylight environment. There's a variety of circadian phase disorders. In the VCE course, we need to cover shift work disorders, delayed sleep phase onset for teens, and the effects of jet lag. Now, in order to maintain brevity of this video, the intent is to simply provide a broad overview of circadian rhythm sleep phase disorders. I do intend to generate some more detailed videos of three examples of the effects of jet lag, shift work phase disorders, and delayed sleep phase onset. But just to illustrate the concept, let's walk through an example. So on this top timeline, we've got the normal sleep phase for a teen going to sleep at about 11ish, waking up at about 8 a.m. Yes, I acknowledge that most teens are gonna to struggle to get to school on time if they wake up then, but work with me people. This teen's having about nine hours sleep. Most teens are gonna function quite effectively on that amount of sleep. Now, let's say that the teen is suffering from a circadian rhythm phase disorder, such as delayed sleep phase onset. And so therefore, due to inappropriate physiological activity in the core clock genes in the SCN, the suprachiasmatic nucleus, and a disruption in the timing of the release of sleep-inducing hormones such as melatonin, the teen has this red zone here. They're having difficulty falling asleep. They might go to bed at 11, but they're not actually falling asleep until much later. Now, the flow and effect of that comes the next day when they're roused out of their sleep by an alarm or a parent and they're forced to wake up at about eight. The net effect of that is the teen is gonna accrue a massive sleep debt because their body clock is out of sync with desired sleep-wake patterns.